Security is hard, and the SOC director's job has many components. You're in a knife fight every day, so you need the right tools and information to know how well a SOC is performing. SiteGain has studied this in depth, and our innovative SiteGain readiness platform has enabled some SOCs to go from catching less than 20% of malicious activity at the start of our engagement to over 90% in just a couple of months. Up until now, SOC metrics have focused on activity, not necessarily effectiveness. Traditional measures like number of scans, number of blocks, number of tickets closed, and patching statistics have been the coin of the realm. But without context, this is just data, and it does not give insights into the actual performance of your cybersecurity system against the threats that everyone is there to stop. I remember one large federal customer in particular. They have one of the biggest socks in all of the government. They were really proud of themselves in that they were blocking millions of malicious emails, stopping viruses left and right, and had a room full of fancy monitors and reports on overall status. But do you know what? When we tested them against real malicious tactics, they only caught a small percentage of the things that they should have. So their normal metrics show that they were doing well. However, our tests showed that they had many blind spots. So we helped them tune their systems and improve their performance. But organizations just need better metrics to know how their systems are actually working. So we're excited to talk about the top five metrics that we think every SOC leader should look at. First, what percentage of your adversary techniques are we missing? This gets to the heart of effectiveness and tells you across the MITRE ATT&CK framework, how many of these techniques are you catching? How many are you blocking? How many are you alerting on? And then at the end of the day, how many are you just flat out missing? Second, what is our seam signal to noise ratio? When we do tests against adversary tactics, how much other noise is out there? Is there an alert created for what we tested or not? And what else is happening in relation to that activity? Are we able to provide our analysts and our other systems the information that they need to take good action based on that information? Third, what percent of adversary techniques are we addressing through automated means? So number one talked about effectiveness. This one gets to the heart of efficiency. We can't really focus on efficiency until we're effective, but we think as time goes on over the next five years, it's gonna be important to really focus on how much of our system have we automated in order to drive down costs, increase response speed. Talking about speed brings us to our fourth metric. How fast and how often are responses occurring from tier one to tier three. Are we getting good triage from our tier one and bringing that information up to the higher level tiers for the appropriate actions? Finally, number five, what is the return on our investment for people, process, and technology? Are we a SOC that is operating at a high maturity level or are we still building towards what the key ingredients are? By analyzing the return on investment, we can really identify where we need help and then how much that help should cost. The key to making all of this work is technology that automates testing against adversary tactics. By using this technology to automate the testing and the ability to go across and proactively evaluate all of those MITRE ATT&CK techniques, you can really have a robust understanding of how your system is going to respond at the time and place that it is required. Okay, so to review, the top five metrics that we recommend SOC directors look at. Number one, what percentage of adversary techniques are we missing? Number two, what's our seam signal to noise ratio? Number three, what percentage of adversary techniques are we addressing through automated means? Number four, how fast and how often are we responding from tier one to tier three? And finally, what's our return on investment for our people, process, and technology that are making the SOC operate on a daily basis? Click the link below to find out how SiteGain can boost your SOC metrics and subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep pace with all of the innovations that we're bringing to the market.